In this tutorial, we're going to go through the steps to create the vectors that will allow you to produce the design that you can see on the screen. In a tutorial in the 2D and 2.5D machining section, you'll be able to see how to create the toolpaths based on the vectors we create. So let's start by going to create a new file and our job size for this quatrefoil panel will be width 30, height 12, material Z0 off the top, thickness 1, XY origin position in the centre of the job. We'll go ahead and hit OK. I'm going to come to the layer control, toggle that and change the name of layer 1 to outline. Hit apply, hide and create a rectangle on that layer which is going to be the outline shape for our panel. This is going to be 27 by 9.75. Hit create. X0, Y0 is set to be anchored in the center which is good. So we'll close that. I'm going to say I want to toggle the layer manager again and create another new layer and call this one top and bottom grooves. Hit OK. Hide that, going to create another rectangle, this one 27 by 3 eighths of an inch, 0.375, hit create, close. I'm going to select that, shift and select our large rectangle and say align bottom. Now I want to move that up, I'm going to select the small rectangle, say move selected objects, relative 0.375, hit apply, close and I want to create a vertical mirrored copy about the center of the job. This is a symmetrical part, so I'm going to select that small rectangle, use the shortcut on the keyboard, Control, Shift and V for a vertical mirrored copy. Next I'm going to come in and go to the layer manager again, switch off the two layers I've just created objects on, select uh, the option for a new layer, and I'm going to call this new layer foils. Hit OK hide that and going to draw a circle. First circle I'm going to draw is going to be at X0, Y0 center, diameter of 7.5 inches, hit create. Then I'm going to change the diameter to 7, hit create again, and change the diameter to 1.5 and hit create again. Let's close that now, select this small circle, zoom in here, and I'm going to move that down, so move selected objects relative to its current position and I want to go down two thirds of an inch. So I'm going to type in minus two divided by three and then I'm going to hit the equal sign in order to calculate that sum, the two divided by three. Hit apply and that's moved my circle down two thirds of an inch. Next I'm going to copy objects in a linear or circular array. I want a circular array I want three objects in a total angle of 360 around rotation center 0, 0. Hit copy, close, and with those three objects selected, I'm going to come over and say weld selected vectors in order to give me my trifoil outline. With that selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit offset selected vectors, inwards, 0.25, create sharp corners checked, hit the offset button, close, create another circle which is 1.25 diameter, select that offset, the inner shape, shift and select the circle and come over and select weld selected vectors to join those, pick the outer and inner, control G on the keyboard to group those together and that's the trifoil that we've created. Let's now go ahead and hit F to fit the window and I'm going to select this outer circle, shift and select the inner circle, right mouse click and select copy to copy those to the clipboard. I'm going to come over to move selected objects relative to their current position. I'm going to move them minus 9 inches. Hit apply and that's in the X axis. Right mouse click and paste to put the original copy back in. Let's go ahead and draw some polylines now for some construction data. Say draw straight polyline I'm going to snap to the center point of this circle, snap to the center point of this circle, hit the space bar to end the creation of that line, snap to the center point of the top circle, snap to the um, center point of the top of this circle, 
hit space to finish that and then snap to the middle of each of those lines with a straight line in order to create this piece of geometry. Next, let's go ahead and take our trifoil group, shift and select this top line and say align top. Then I'm going to select this and shift and select this line and say align center. We can go ahead and delete this center line now. Next, I'm going to select this uh, trifoil control U to ungroup the shapes and I'm going to offset the two circles outwards by 0.375. Next I'm going to grab the outline shape for the trifoil and offset that outwards by 0.375 inches as well. Now if I zoom in what I'm going to do is move some of this data onto a new layer. I'm going to take the two offset circles holding shift down, I'm going to select those, I'm going to select the offset for the trifoil and shift and select these horizontal lines. Right mouse click, so move to layer, new layer and I'm going to call this layer VCarve and I'm going to make it visible and active, hit OK. In the layer manager I'm going to switch off the foils layer for the moment. So now we can see the shapes we've got on this VCarve layer I'm going to select these two straight horizontal lines and I'm going to close them with a straight line. So I'm going to say join with a straight line, close with a straight line, click that twice to make a box. Now I'm going to select this box, shift and select this circle and say subtract vectors. With the results still selected I'm going to shift and select this circle, subtract vectors. Again with the results selected shift and select this circle subtract vectors to give me the pieces I want. Next I'm going to come back to the layer manager, switch on the foils layer so we can see what's going on. I'm going to select this bottom shape, hit N for node editing and I'm going to come over this middle span and hit D to delete that bottom open area. Next I want to take these shapes and I'm going to mirror them about the middle axis so I'm going to say Control shift v for a vertical copy I have two shapes making up this middle outline here so I'm going to select both of those holding the shift key and go ahead and click join close vectors in order to close that shape up. Next I'm going to uh, create a mirror copy of these the other side of the circle. A quick and easy way to do that is just to sketch a polyline snapping to the top and bottom points of the circle. Select these two objects, shift and select the line come to the mirror tool, say a mirrored copy to the left and it'll use that line as an, a point to mirror around because it was the extents on the left hand side of the three shapes selected. Then I can go ahead and select the two lines that are there and delete them both. Now I can go ahead and take all the shapes we've created over on this side and box select them including the circles. I'm going to say Control Shift H and that'll make a horizontal copy over onto the other side there. So let's have a look at the other shapes, switch on the layer manager and switch them on and we can see how our design is coming together now. What I'm going to do now is just create the quatrefoil shape in the middle of the circle here. So we'll just go ahead and switch off some of these layers, select the foils layer and um, make sure that's the current layer we're working on. We'll zoom in on this area here, I'm going to take this inner circle, I'm going to offset that inwards by 0.375 of an inch. Close that. Going to select a circle, create a circle 3 inches wide at 0, 0, so that diameter 3. I'm going to select that circle we just created, shift and select the one we just offset and align top. I'm going to select this smaller circle now, do an array copy. I want four copies in 360 degrees around 0, 0. We can copy those. With those selected, I can go ahead and hit the weld selected vectors. We can delete that middle portion there. I'm going to take those and offset those inwards by 0.25 inches, create sharp corners, hit offset and go ahead and create another circular vector which is 3.75 diameter in order to just crop off these internal areas here. I'm going to select those two vectors there and go to the weld function again. 
Finally, I need to create some v-carve shapes inside here. So I'm going to take this vector, I'm going to offset it outwards by 0 0.375. And what I want to do is take those two vectors and put them onto the v-carve layer. So I'm going to right mouse click, say move to layer, put them on the v-carve layer. Now putting something on the layer doesn't automatically switch it on. So if I now want to work on that layer, what I should do is come over here, switch off the foils layer, and go down to the v-carve layer and switch that on, where we'll see those vectors I've created, and I can see that the v-carve layer is now selected. Next, I can go ahead and select the circle first, shift and select this other shape, and we're going to go and subtract vectors to leave us with the pieces we want for those inner shapes there. Now I can come back to the layer manager, we'll just switch on everything we've got here, and we need to make some copies of those in, uh, vectors we just created inside here. So I'm going to select those four, I'm going to, holding the shift key down to select all these, I'm going to select the two quatrefoil vectors, Let's just hide this for a moment, a right mouse click and copy that to the clipboard, I'm going to say move selected vectors relative minus nine in X and hit apply, close, right mouse click and paste the middle vectors back again and then what I want to do is just take these ones over here so we'll just shift and select those again control shift H to make a copy across to the other side so if we want to check now switch off the layers there's the outline shape there's the top and bottom grooves there's the different foils I can see at some point I've pasted something onto another layer. If I switch on the v-carve layer, we can see what's happened there. So just switch that on on its own. So I just pasted that on while the v-carve layer was active. Right mouse click, move to layer, foils. That's why it's always good every so often to check your layers to make sure what you expect is on each layer. At this point, we've created all the vectors we need for our quatrefoil example. So I'm going to go ahead and say file save as, we'll save this in the appropriate folder for this project and we'll call the file quatrefoil-vectors.crv. If you want to see how the toolpaths are created for this particular design then you should look in the 2 and 2.5D two and machining section of the tutorials and find the appropriate tutorial where we cover the toolpath creation for our quatrefoil. And that concludes this tutorial.